Hey friends, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another iPad video. If you haven't seen my last two videos, be sure to check them out. I have an unboxing of my iPad up in my channel as well as a review of my iPad, but both of those videos are about two months old now. And since I've had my iPad for quite a good bit of time, I originally planned on filming a what's on my iPad video today, but when I was looking at all the apps I had, I realized that it's nothing really too exciting because I got this iPad solely to have for school and for online classes and for my physical therapy school course load. So all the apps on it are school related, note taking related, productivity related. So instead, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite iPad apps for school. So if you're interested in getting an iPad for school, this video will be really helpful for you. So keep on watching. So I'm going to start screen recording now so you guys can follow along with me. If you like my wallpaper, it says Breathe. It is by the YouTuber Julia Christ, I believe is how you pronounce it. She has so many technology videos out on her channel as well as a website with really cool wallpapers that she makes. So definitely recommend checking out that. But as you can see, I just have this one page of apps on my iPad. Um, so I put all of the Apple apps in this one folder just because I don't really use them too much and I didn't want them taking up a ton of space. And also to get these cool little fonts to name the folders, I just googled like cute text keyboard and you can type them whatever you want and then just simply copy and paste it. So cool little hack for you. So the first app I'm going to be talking about actually already comes with the iPad. So you guys are in luck there. And that is just the to-do list app. So I'm going to again put up my screen recording here so you guys can take a look at it. But essentially it's just a to-do list. So you can type in something like study, you can set a reminder and you just have everything again in one place. So for me, I know my classes are pretty much going to be all day from eight to four. If they are online, which we haven't heard yet, but I kind of feel like they're going to be, but it'll just be nice to go to my desk, sit down, look at my iPad and say, okay, this is the layout for today. These are the times I have everything to do. These are the times I have gaps in my schedule. And it just is my number one productivity tip is to make a to-do list. If not on an iPad, just on a piece of paper, it just helps me get so much more done. So my app number two is actually specifically for note taking. And if you've watched any note taking iPad video, you've probably already heard about this app, but that is Notability. I actually had the opportunity to use this app a little bit recently because I've been taking notes for medical terminology. Like I mentioned in my last video, we were asked to look over med terms and familiarize ourselves with the material before classes start in two weeks. So I actually have some notes to show you guys, which is pretty exciting because they're, they are beautiful and they just make studying so much more fun. Look, look at that, guys. There's so many different colored pencil options, highlighter options, text options, and it just gets you out of a studying rut. I was feeling super burnt out after finishing my undergrad degree, and then I got this iPad as a graduation gift for my parents. I love you guys if you're watching this, but it just has totally gotten me out of my study rut and switched things up and has helped me really comprehend the material really well. So definitely, definitely recommend checking out Notability. There also is an option to import PowerPoints into Notability. So when I do start classes, I think that's something I'm going to be doing a lot so I can write directly onto the slides and then kind of take notes like this on my own outside of class. So definitely recommend checking out Notability. App number three is my student Canvas app. So I don't know what platform your school uses, but I guarantee whatever platform it is, there's an app for it. So I downloaded it right here on my iPad so I can click on it and kind of just have all my courses there in one place. There's only one course up so far, pharmacology, but it just has all your schoolwork again in one place. And this just prevents me from, say, having to go on my laptop to check Canvas and then getting distracted by my YouTube analytics or replying to comments on a video or something, just having my iPad solely for school and having all school related stuff in one place just kind of eliminates all of the distractions that can come from having to plot your laptop. So I definitely recommend getting your student Canvas or ELC or whatever D2L platform you guys use and getting on your iPad. So the next app I'm going to be talking about is our good old friend Quizlet, which I'm sure you guys have all heard about. It is an app as well as a website to make electronic flashcards on, 
But having it on your iPad, again, just kind of eliminates the distraction of having to take out your phone or your laptop and then getting distracted by some other things while you're trying to study or get school, online school done at home. So as you can see here, I have so many sets from past exams and past things that I have done. So yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using Quizlet, honestly, in PT school just because it's way more conceptual based than just straight up memorizing things like undergrad was, but for a class like medical terminology, it definitely would still be useful. The next app that I recommend you guys getting on your iPad for online school is Google Drive. So again, Google Drive is just something that I use a ton day to day for school, whether it be typing out learning objectives and working on them with a classmate or something like that. It's just great to have on your iPad and it's also an alternative to Microsoft Word or any of those Office softwares. Those are free with an EDU email, so I have those as well on my iPad, but if you do not, Google Drive is a great alternative because there's like Google Sheets, which is the Google Excel alternative. There is just the files, which is the alternative to Word. So definitely just having Google Drive here. Again, you can just kind of access everything really easily. Next up, with that being said, I do have the Office 365 softwares on my iPad, the Excel app, the Word app, and the PowerPoint app, just because they were free, like I said, and a ton of my professors use PowerPoint, I know for sure, so you can just open the slides directly in PowerPoint, and then, like I said, then export them into Notability and kind of edit and write on them that way, so if you can get these for free, I definitely recommend it. App number seven that I recommend you guys check out is Google Calendar. So fun fact, I used to be such a hater of Google Calendar. I was someone that only used actual planners, but then my life just got super, super, super busy and chaotic when I started working in undergrad, when I had a bunch of doctor's appointments, interviews, meetings, just a bunch of various stuff. It is not practical to carry around a giant day designer planner with you all the time. And it would be so annoying to have to tell people like, oh, when I check my planner when I get home, I'll let you know if I'm free or something. So I recently switched to Google Calendar. So again, just being able to have this on your phone as well as your iPad, you can enter exam dates, you can enter lecture times, whatever you want. It is really easy to time block your schedule within there. So yeah, you can see here I have for next week, I have to sign up for the APTA on Monday. And then Thursday and Friday, I have orientation for PT school, obviously. And then Friday, I get my last paycheck from my job because your girl is no longer working because she's a DPT student. But it's just nice because you can kind of see the layout of your day hour by hour, which will be really helpful, especially if you're busy, because they say that everyone has 24 hours in a day, even Beyonce type thing. But girl, Beyonce has an assistant and she has so many people helping her. So when it is just you trying to get all of the schoolwork done, it is up to you to make the most of your day, no excuses. So by entering every single thing you have to do in your Google Calendar, you can see, oh, I actually do have 45 minutes here, 45 minutes here. And those little time gaps you have in between certain activities are so much better spent doing something else rather than just laying in bed on your phone because you don't think you have time to get something done. So time blocking in Google Calendar is a huge tip I have for productivity as well as online school. App number eight, I actually just recently downloaded and I'm really excited to start using it and that is called Focus Keeper. So if you've heard of Pomodoro timers, it pretty much is that. So you set how many rounds you want to study. So this automatically is defaulted to four rounds, 25 minutes each. So the purpose of this timer is, basically we've all had these days where we wake up and we are like, oh my gosh, I have a giant test tomorrow, I need to study all day long. And then you end up studying probably two or three hours. But if you truly need to study all day long, this is a great way to make it seem less daunting. So you'll press start and it'll count down for 25 minutes. And you can tell yourself, okay, for these next 25 minutes, I'm gonna turn that off because that sounds annoying. For the next 25 minutes, I'm just gonna look at this PowerPoint. The timer goes off, you get a few minute break, and then 25 minutes starts again. Okay, for these 25 minutes, I'm going to look at this PowerPoint. So you do that four times, and then you set your goal for the day. So this is set till 12, so that is a very long time studying, but you can honestly just do this for four rounds. That is 100 minutes of studying, that is a long time, but it just again makes studying seem less daunting 
and I just think it'll be it'll be great. Nearing the end here, the app number nine that I recommend you guys have for your iPad for online school is Grammarly. There isn't really anything to show here on the screen recording, but if you haven't heard of Grammarly, it's a free application you can download on your MacBook, iPad, any device really. So I've had it on my MacBook forever, and I'm personally really bad at spelling, especially now because I feel like I haven't written a paper in forever, which I'm sure will change soon, but comment down below if you also didn't really have to write much for your major in undergrad, and I'll feel like you're forgetting how to write, which is really bad. I can't believe I'm admitting this on camera, but Grammarly is a lifesaver to have on your iPad, especially because, like I said, my iPad is for school. As you can see, I have my Outlook school email on my iPad, so if I'm emailing a professor, Grammarly is just a spell check to make sure I'm not making any silly mistakes. So we are on to my very last app recommendation that I think you guys should all get if you have an iPad, and that is Headspace. We all know that school can be really, really stressful, especially if you're trying to figure out how to manage taking your classes online. It is a big adjustment. Headspace is a great, great app for taking care of your mental health, which I think is so, so important, especially during this time. We are still in a pandemic, people, and it, it is a lot. It truly is a lot. So this app is something that can be so, so good for you. There are so many different meditations for you guys, so many ones to help you fall asleep or wind down at the end of a long day. There just are so, so many options. And if you are starting up school soon and you're worried about being online again and you're really stressed and really overwhelmed, Headspace is a great app to help you get through that. I'm pretty sure that is it, you guys. Those are my top 10 must-have apps for the iPad if you are having school online and just looking to be more productive overall with school. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope that you found this helpful and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. Bye, friends!